Today, I'm going to be ranking every weapon in Rust from worst to best, and we're going to be starting off with the bow. Now, even though I've put the bow as the worst weapon in Rust, it does have its place. With how cheap it is, it's very useful at the start of wipe, but as wipe goes on and people progress, the bow just gets worse and worse, and most of the time you end up throwing them away to make room for better weapons, such as the nail gun. Now just like the bow, the nail gun is pretty useful at the start of wipe. It's pretty cheap and it's a default blueprint. But just like the bow, as wipe goes on, the nail gun becomes a lot less viable as a weapon. Next up we've got the Eoka. The Eoka is a cheap shotgun that you can craft at the start of a wipe. When it works, you can instantly kill geared enemies. So you might be asking why is it so low on the list? Well... Next is the compound bow. This used to be one of the most overpowered weapons in the entire game, but sadly it got nerfed and nowadays it's a bit useless. It breaks easily, it's not a default blueprint anymore, and with that in mind, most people nowadays just craft the crossbow instead. Now the crossbow is one of the best primitive weapons in the game, especially when paired with a nail gun. However on its own, it's not that good at close range. Next is the revolver. This is probably the first gun you get in a wipe, and at the start of the wipe, it's actually pretty good. However, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, and it only has 8 bullets. Next up is the water pipe. The water pipe is basically the Eoka, but it goes off every time. Now the water pipe can be pretty good at close ranges, but its biggest problem is that it only has one bullet. And when you're trying to kill geared people, you're probably going to need more than one bullet. Next up is another shotgun, the Spaz 12. The Spaz 12 isn't craftable and it can be pretty hard to find. It usually takes about 4 bullets to kill someone, and with it only having a magazine of 6, it's pretty hard to kill more than one person. Next up is the Custom SMG. Now the Custom is a good weapon at close ranges. It's mainly this low on the list because it costs the exact same to craft as a Thompson. And the Thompson is better than the Custom in every way. Next up is the Prototype 17. It's a burst fire pistol and it is actually pretty good. The only reason it's this far down is because it's so rare. It's not craftable, it's not buyable and it's very hard to find. Then after the Prototype we've got the M92. It carries 15 bullets and it can't be crafted but it can be bought at Bandit Camp. I actually quite like the M92, but it's just a shame you can't craft it. There's 250 scrap every time you want this pistol, probably isn't worth it. After the M92, we have the P2. Now the P2 is probably the best snowballing weapon in the game. It's very cheap to craft, and it's pretty good at every range. And with it being so cheap, if you die with it, it's not that big a deal. Next, we have the MP5. Some of you think this is probably too low for the MP5, so let me explain. The MP5 is a tier 3 weapon, and it costs 500 scrap to research. And even with all that considered, it's probably not better than the Thompson. Next up we have the LR300. Now the LR used to be good with an 8x, but since they changed the recoils, the LR's become pretty useless. It's not craftable, so you have to find it or buy it, and it is quite expensive for what you get. So yeah, it's number 14. Next we have the Python. The Python's a tier 2 pistol. It does insane damage, but it only has 6 bullets. So as long as you've got good aim, the Python is pretty good. Next we've got the M39. The M39 isn't craftable and it has to be bought at Bandit Camp for 400 scrap. But just like the prototype, the M39 is very rare. And on top of all that, the iron sights are pretty terrible. So you're going to need some attachments. Next we have the pump shotgun. Now the pump shotgun is a pretty good weapon. It's basically just a water pipe with 6 bullets. And you can get one pretty easily from the fishing village mission. Next up's the DB. Now the DB is super cheap and it can kill pretty much anyone. The only problem with the DB is that it's on the useful close range. Next up's the Handmade LMG. This is basically a craftable M2. It's pretty good for doing things like taking heli, but with how expensive it is to craft, there is a few better options. Next is the Bolt Action Rifle. Now the Bolt is a pretty good weapon at long ranges, but it can be pretty hard to use at close ranges, and most people just use this weapon to roof camp. Next is the L96. This is pretty much the same thing as the Bolty, but it's a bit easier to use. But like I said, people just use this to roof camp. The next weapon we have is the brand new minigun. Now this weapon's currently only on staging branch. As it is currently, I think this weapon's going to be pretty overpowered. It costs about the same as the handmade LMG to craft, but it shoots way quicker and it holds 300 bullets. The next weapon we have is the SAR. Now the SAR's a good weapon at every range. It's tier 2 and it's somewhat cheap to craft. And because it's pretty good at every range and so easy to get, that's why I put it at 5. Next up we have the M249. Now this was the first LMG added to Rust. It holds 100 bullets and it can only be found in Bradley or Heli crates. Now the M2 is one of the best guns in Rust, but because it's so rare, I had to put it at number 4. 
After the M2, we've got the M4 shotgun. Now, the M4 shotgun's pretty overpowered. It can be used at pretty much any range, even though it's a shotgun. And the only thing stopping it from being higher on the list is the fact that it's so rare. In second place, we've got the Thompson. Now, the Thompson is easily the best SMG. It's pretty good close up and far away. It's craftable at tier 2 and it's very cheap. And because of how good it is, combined with how easy it is to get, I've put it at number 2. And at number one, it's obviously the AK. This gun's good at literally everything. It's the most versatile gun in Rust. It can be used close up or far away. It holds 30 bullets. It's craftable at tier three. The only problem with the AK is you pretty much have to crouch to shoot it. But even with that said, I still think it's the best weapon in Rust. And that's the list. Let me know anything you'd change in the comments below. And make sure to click on this video.